So here it is, the cut. It appears that the bed does not track uh, accurately. It gets a little bit twisted, so I may have to look at that and fine-tune the setup. But um, for all intents and purposes, um, here's the cut. Took me a lot longer than I anticipated, but uh, the J is looking good. Whatever is fractured or appears to be will be hollowed out anyway. So um, I think I'm in pretty good shape. So the liner's been trimmed after the fitting inside the bronze was completed, as you can see here. It's mounted on a piece of wood so that I can um, easily work on and made some triangular cuts to save some of the jade, use them for pendants and uh, here are my sexy models. This is the actual original shell, the casting of which I made and here's a bigger one that will serve as also an indication of the liner, the organic, rounded, beautiful, sensuous form of the liner. So, on with the project. Just to show um, the rough out stage. And I'm going to get into the shaping. From now on, I have to do a bit of tooling, and here is my little hookup with a mister on a straight die grinder and a little diamond wheel. So uh, it's getting to be a bit more fun, not just hard work. I am on to the next phase. The jade has been shaped roughed out rudder and shaped and uh, I also had to decide on the base for the sculpture and um, I decided to go with a rough piece of uh, very dark Wyoming with quite a bit of rind and um, I'm pretty happy with it actually it's a sculpture is offset uh, mounted offset uh, on the base and um, the water is drying, as you can tell, so the liner comes out, and then the bronze, which will be gold-plated, sits in two little pockets and two pins. So that's the ticket. Um, so quite a bit of more work on the finishing of the jade, but um, uh, I'm getting there. 